Okay, I got out here extra early today. Um, so the sun doesn't hit me for this protege update. Man, that was so annoying last week. I think I... The rooster says I did fine. Okay, super tired. Oh, let's do this. I worked so hard yesterday mainly in the front yard, pulling out weeds out of flower beds, but I did come over here and rich, rip out a bunch of stuff, like a bunch. Oh, I'm so shaky today. So I haven't found my ding ding selfie stick. Where it is. I'm gonna check the garage later. Anyway, oh, and it's not too hot yet. It feels nice. Okay, I really didn't clean up yesterday. All my junk after, anyway, you're gonna see it. Here we go. Okay, so on my junk. I have some uh, mulching that I want to do, so I've been collecting boxes and stuff, um, and I didn't sweep up. Show you Graham Thomas. Hey, lovey. Look at that beautiful boy. This is David Austin's Graham Thomas. Uh, the climber. The climbing version. Anyway, he's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that bee is so full of pollen right now. He is just drunk on pollen. Good grief, dude. I think he overdid it. Okay, back to the tour. Um, so, a lot of blank space to plant things. Also, look at that Jing orange okra has grown. It's like doubled in size since last week. I feel like we were just here. I think because I spent a whole week editing and I just uploaded it like yesterday, so. <laughs> All right, so nothing much new here. The beans are still producing beans. I took out some of the pink Senorita Zinnia, did some deadheading, did some seed saving. Look at all this sunshine coming through. I took out all the tick seed. I'm like, I'm done with you. Except that I left some over there. Anyway, um, anyway, so I'm gonna plant, I have some tomato seedlings um, that I've been growing on that I tried to kill because I actually burned them really bad with fertilizer and that is my bad. I'll show you that in a separate video. Anyway, we're gonna get some seedlings planted and some tomato seeds. I've got 90 days. I've got 90 days of no frost and I need to get this done. Um, so let's go on to the habanero. I do finally have some flowers. Finally, I have some habanero flowers and I started these seeds. I don't know, January, February. I'm ridiculous. All the basils, um, lots of basils. This Aji Kajuka, the flowers are still the same. I think these are even the exact same flowers from a week ago. I do not see any fruit at all. We have been a little bit cooler. We've been in the 90s instead of the 100s. Uh, we have had some rain, thank goodness. This purple beauty pepper is getting bigger, a lot bigger. Maybe that's the only thing that's really changed. Um, the Giants of California looking lovely. They, they are so tall. Some of these, gosh, are pushing five feet tall. Very pretty. Um, I did take out these zinnias here. They were like a, I don't know, double delight lilac or some, I don't know. I forgot to put the name on the screen in the last video too. Maybe I'll remember to put it in this one, but I just ripped them all out. Still no loofah flowers. I'm gonna tell you, no flowers on that loofah. I don't, I hope I get some. Anyway, 90 days. These zinnias are just still trucking along. I mean, I, st I recommend them. This is the pink Zahara salmon uh, carpet zinnia. It's just gorgeous. And this I will be saving seeds to, this soft purple zinnia. So delicate, love it. And then this big old giant tick seed. I'm gonna leave that just because when it does flower this fall, it's a bright yellow, really pretty flower. That's just gonna make a nice big statement. So I'm just gonna leave that one and I just took all the rest out. Baby Bubba Okra, I did pick some last week. And then yesterday I noticed another giant spear. I am not staying on top of this okra. I just, I will say um, on the package, it said this was good for containers and I'm gonna have to agree. If you see the Baby Bubba Okra and you wanna grow okra in containers, you know, close to the house on your patio or something, this is really, really a great plant. Look at that, it's very compact bushy and compact and it's an attractive plant i'm happy with it uh, my rosa bianca eggplant dun, da, da, da. look at that flowers so that's fun 
That's fun. I'm gonna get a flower. Finally. It's tomorrow's August. <laughs> I'm finally getting a flower. Oh, and then uh, my Clemson spineless okra has gotten pretty tall in the last week. But um, the seeds are a bit close together. I'm really considering thinning those out. If I can pull them up gently enough, I may just space them out instead of chucking the ones that I pull. But look at all that space. Look at all that. <gasps> What's missing? All the zinnias. I pulled out all of those lily put mixed colors. I sure did. And I pulled out all of the uh, marigolds because I need more space for other things. These pots real quick. Look at this Ace 55 bush tomato seedling. Come on. It's been in this pot, what, three weeks? Two and a half, three weeks? That's not bad. And my scarlet sage. I still need to plant some more. I got one. And of course that potato nugget, that's gotta get moved. Also, red ants moved into the bottom of this. Ding, dang it. I have to treat that. These potatoes are doing fantastic. Look at that. Yeah. And then here, thank you, Emily. These are the gomfrina. They're nice and fuzzy. Uh, I'll probably space these two out a little bit. But yeah, that's all that came up, though, was gomfrina. No tomato. But one of the seedlings in the house... If I have, I don't know if I have a bush variety or a shorter one, but maybe I could put a pepper in there. I've got some peppers that I started from seed. Anyway, um, straw flowers, hold on. Straw flowers are doing fine, but see these leaf-footed bugs, I never put the bag back on. Of course I didn't. Leaf-footed bugs, they sit at the base and they just suck all the life out of them. Anyway, these don't even look as pretty anymore. They look kind of dingy. These ones are pretty. And I cut the other ones off. They weren't even worth saving. They didn't look, they didn't look pretty as saving for uh, dried flowers. Anyway, um, oh, I forgot these beans here. These beans, am I finally going to get something? They've been here for months, <laughs> weeks and months, and I have flowers. There's pretty flowers. This is the royal burgundy. But am I finally going to get a bean? Is that a bean? I don't think it is. They're just not, they're not beaning. I don't know what's wrong with them. Anyway, my nasturtium's still alive. For how much longer, I don't know. I did remove all of its shade when I took out the lily put mixed colors. And the reason I took them out is they were looking junky and moldy and a little crazy. And there were seedlings everywhere. And I'm like, it'll come back. Look at all these seedlings. All that green is um, zinnia. So it's going to come back. I just needed a visual break from all that craziness. Uh, Blue Lake bush beans, um, they're just kind of stagnant. They're not doing much. They're just kind of sitting there. And it, maybe it was too hot, but now that we've cooled off, oh, something's eating. Something's eating them too. But maybe since it's cooled off, things will change. Uh, moringa, that moringa is getting so big. Oh my goodness, love it. So three, Moringa seedlings. Love it. That. See, this is what was happening to the royal burgundy when I had them in the corn bed. They would just get like this and then just fall apart. So is that like a fungus? Is it a disease? I don't know. But anyway, it's weird. Oh, my watermelon that was trailing through here. I went ahead and climbed it up the fence um, and see if I can climb it that away. Now, this is one of those big, like maybe Charleston gray ones. So that's probably a dumb idea. I just did it yesterday so I can fix that. But I thought if I could crawl it that way and then I could hang like a hammock for any melons that I get, if I get any, I don't know if I'm even going to get any, had a huge zinnia there, cut that out. It was kind of like this one. See this pink one? This is one plant. That's one stalk. Look at all those heads on that. Yeah. It's just, it's one stalk. That is one. Um, anyway, I had one, another one up against the fence. I'm just trying to visually um, reduce the clutter. It was cluttering my brain. Anyway, I still have not taken out the Jewels of Opar. I've been so busy. So busy with work during the week. And then on the weekends, I tackle what I can. So all this Jewels of Opar, maybe I'll work on that today. Um, it feels really good out here right now. So... As soon as I finish filming, I may do that. 
this jalapeno. I'm going to go ahead and pick that today. I also, yeah, I'm going to do some harvesting as soon as I'm done filming that first. I've got to get some things harvested. I didn't come back and show you that uh, hibiscus, the pink one, after it bloomed. I need to show you that. It's pretty. Um, over here, my Romanesco broccoli still looking great. Um, I need to take off the old leaves. But I'm thinking this broccoli and uh, the other one, uh, the Dechicchio, if I can keep these alive till the weather's cool, we might get a head. These have never had a head on them. So, I mean, that's that's fun. Thai soldier long beans. Do need to harvest those. I don't know how I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get the ladder to get those. That's fun. Um, these Borlato bush beans. So, they are making beans, right? But the beans are so small, like after a week, I filmed last Sunday. It is now this Sunday, and that bean looks exactly the same as it did last Sunday, so I don't know. I They may be shaded out too much by my my tower of Thai long beans. That Roselle hibiscus probably has doubled in size since last week, wow. This is the hibiscus that you use for tea and jam, and then nothing on the harvester bean just yet. More cilantro, <laughs> more cilantro coming up. The bok choy, I think I need to spray those seedlings. They're getting et up. Um, and then little gem lettuce. I don't think anything has come up. I think that's all bok choy. Okay, well, I'll we'll have to reseed that. And then the balsam and patience. Just got some red ones with little, little white speckles. Again, not my favorite, but they're pretty. And these are the ones that the seeds explode when the seeds are ready. You just barely touch them and they go pew, seeds everywhere. Early purple sprouting broccoli is doing great. I came in and did a little weeding yesterday. Need to do a little more, but so we got the clover and the grass. But most of the green here is the broccoli. So that's good. Got a good early start on that. Um, and then all this self-seeded arugula. Uh, my Dechicchio broccoli, holding on. Love that blue color. Holding on till fall, and then look at all this. I'm gonna harvest this today. This is all arugula, and it still tastes pretty mild. It's not too peppery, even though it's in the heat. Look at this cute fennel. This is the Finocchio, and I'm gonna have to redo that sign before it's gone. Um, Swiss chard, I don't see any Swiss chard in here. I really don't think there's any Swiss chard that's come up, so I'm gonna reseed that today. I think these are just weeds. Pretty sure they're weeds now. Also, I think I'm gonna take out um, the kohlrabi. It's looking kind of rough. I may uh, roast, roast of that big tuber there, but the rest I'm just gonna take out. I have not dealt with Brenda. I have not been out here to clean her up. I did spray her with the Captain Jack's dead bug brew just to keep the pests from messing with her anymore. Um, gosh, it looks so dark on camera. Anyway, I need to fix Brenda. That, is that poop? Well, I think we have some poop. Ugh, so much poop. And these vines are doing fine. Nothing really new here. The sweet potato vines are going bananas. Going banana, as they do. As they do. I need to pull some grass out of there. Um, oh, the two pots on the entrance. Got a pot there, pot here. This is a plumeria. The main tall thingy is a plumeria. It's like a Hawaiian lay flower, but this is unscented. It's unscented. How rude is that? It's rude. This one is struggling a little bit to get leafed out this year. Um, but this one did great. And this is a coleus. This is a self-seeded coleus from a coleus I grew from seed last year. So it's a generational thing. And I'm gonna go ahead and let a couple of them flower because the pollinators do like it. All right, let's go on the outside. Up here. Look at that. We have our first Thai blue, double blue butterfly pea. So how pretty. Let's see. Yeah. So, uh, pumpkins. I do. Oh, look, look, see, yeah, vine borer. 
all the way up here. I don't know how much longer this pumpkin's going to make it. It's hard to keep on top of all that nonsense. But at least I did get some, some pretty pumpkins. This one I'm going to harvest. This was the first one to ripen. All the little piggy tendrils have turned brown, which is how you know it is ready. These are happy. I think uh, that bee we saw had been uh, getting his fill inside these flowers. That one covered with pollen. That was cute though. And I do not understand the ants. Look, they're getting in the bean now. These ants and these beans, I don't even know. Um, oh, hey. We have um, Jasmine. Hey. So I'm gonna be picking that. And heck, I may pick some of these before they even open, just so I don't lose them. I love to put these in my tea. Oh my gosh, they smell and taste beautiful in tea. Yeah. So, little jasmine, little lemon verbena, my uh, Chinese yard long noodle beans. That tick seed, I still, I didn't get to it yesterday. That's coming out. Hello. Pretty. Okay, so we're gonna try again with the tomatoes back here. Um, and maybe in a couple other areas where I have blank spots, I'll put my tomato seedlings. These beautiful giants of California. I do need to pull out grass. I noticed when I pulled out all the tick seed, just how much grass was in there. So I'll be pulling that out. Um, polar bears, there's the one from last week. It's starting to turn brown. They do last a while though. Um, also a surprise on this muscadine grape I noticed this weekend. Look at this big old giant grape. Look at that. One giant muscadine. That's kind of fun. I don't know what to do with that. I guess I'm just gonna leave it. That's fine. Um, anyway, this is the tick seed that I'm gonna allow to flower, but I am gonna cut these these shoots at the back that are encroaching and cut those off. Um, anyway, this cucumber, this national pickling, is climbing all through the grape. Um, but the cucumbers are doing really nice. I saw a big one. It was hidden behind a grape leaf or something. The, oh, there it is, it's down here. Oh, look at that, baby. That might be ready. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't wanna let them get too big and then they get bitter, but that'd make a nice pickle. That's like perfect pickle size. So, might be picking that later. I will make a jar of one pickle. <laughs> Oh, and this zinnia here. I, I'm not sure if this is Violet Queen, but this color, I am in love with this color. Cause it's, um, it's a purple, but it's like a hot pink lilac-y purple. And it's just, just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Oh, I'm gonna save seed. Look, I'm gonna get my bags out and save some seed. That's beautiful. Oh, and I did see a praying mantis egg. I uh, haven't seen any kooka melons yet. This is Thai soldier long bean. Is it or is it kooka melon? No. This oh, this is Chinese noodle bean. <gasps> Look at these bait. Oh my gosh, yesterday these were so short. Oh my gosh. Okay, well I'm harvesting noodle bean. This noodle bean on the corner is the happiest of all the noodle beans. The uh, Chinese noodle beans, not the Thai soldier long beans. Good grief. It's grabbing on to me. Get out of here. Oh, there's some more. That's how tall the other ones were yesterday. See, that's those are kind of short. And these, goodness. Fun. My other muscadine grape. I haven't seen any grapes on this one, but they could be hiding. Ah, oh, yeah, the vine boar. I saw two vine boar yesterday. Two, two of them on my flowers. Like just feeding themselves with the pollen and the nectar. I forget that they're actual like feeding pollinators because look, look, they are destructive pollinators is what they are. These, that acorn squash is just ruined, but there's still, I still see some, some healthy leaves towards the back. So maybe they will survive. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna, I saw these yesterday and I'm like, no, I gotta save them for the tour. I'll pick them tomorrow. That is a yard long noodle bean. Isn't that fun? So these I will pick today. See compared to the 
the smaller one. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I love it. I love these noodle beans so much. So please grow these. Don't grow the Thai soldier. Grow the the red Chinese ones. They're fun. Um, my Hale's Best Cantaloupe's doing good. We got some true leaves going on. Gotta pick some grass out of there. My Sharon Taste Melon. The two little melon buds I showed you last week, I believe, rotted and died. Oh, there's a no another noodle bean, that's fun. Um, so I don't think I have any pollinated melons yet. See, there's another one, but it, I don't know if it got pollinated because see, it's like a little bit yellow. I think when they get yellow like that, means it's a dud. But hopefully soon, I mean, there's so many flowers. Okay, there's, there's one that looks like it's been pollinated and the base is still green. So let's keep an eye on that one. Anyway, this is the Sharon Tace French cantaloupe. And then my straight eight cucumber here. I did tie up more of the vines. It was starting to like flop over into the bed. So I tied those up. I did cut off some lower leaves, but it looks like I need to do these ones um, and spray with the copper fungicide because this powdery, powdery mildew is starting to take over a little bit. But I haven't seen any uh, cucumbers at all. But you know cucumbers, they'll hide. And then all of a sudden you'll see a foot long cucumber. Okay. Very good. It's coming around. All so my junk, I'm gonna work. Work on cleaning this up today. Oh, look how tall this has grown already since last week. This is my bowl gourd. It's grown almost probably six inches since last week and it's got its little curly tendrils now. Um, I did tie it with yarn yesterday, um, but yeah, it's going to start climbing and we'll have some pretty bowls to make into whatever, make into something. Yeah, sweet potatoes doing great. All right, let's go back inside. Hello, Graham. There he is. Oh, and he does smell very musky, very musky. All right, here we go. Last week, I don't know if I showed you that I had a little fig, but I have a little fig. Hello. That's the only one. That's fine. Limes, limes for days. My husband had some Corona with some of my limes from my tree yesterday. Yeah, yeah, it's full. Oh, can I tell you this bed is my favorite right now. The squash towers. Can we just call it the squash towers? That is what it is. It's the squash towers. And I want to start over here with the star of the show, my tromboncino. <laughs> Look how tall it is. Can you see that? Look at that tromboncino. I am standing flat on the ground. And that tromboncino is right here. I planted that seed July 10th. No, 4th. Sorry, July 4th. It's July 30th. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's crazy. And look how big the leaves are. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. It's gorgeous. There's my time. But yeah, that Tromancino is my favorite right now. Um, I guess I'll just do front and back. So in the front over here is the sweet meat. It's like a blue pumpkin. Um, I've started tying it up this little, little trellis ramp to kind of ramp it up. Um, some of the leaves got burned, and I'm not sure with what or why, but I'm probably going to cut that off. So anyway, that's the sweet meat. And then over here is the painted serpent, cucumber, everything. Everything was planted July 4th. It's just crazy. And then on the back side, we have the spaghetti squash here. Um, and I do need to check for eggs. I've already found eggs. Uh, vine bore eggs on the squash for the wagon arch. So I need to check all of these. I do have the fabric. I just haven't put it on yet and that's my bad. Oh my gosh, we're going to get flowers already. Look at that. It's been like four weeks and we're going to get flowers. Love it. Okay, so over here I have the Armenian cucumber. Look, look at this one climbing. This Armenian cucumber here is uh oh gosh three and a half feet yeah so that's fantastical and then on the back side of the tromboncino we have the butternut squash so not as vigorous as the rest but still impressive else um have not done anything with this bed yet 
and this uh, headliner starry sky, it's just, I don't know if it's because it's in a lot of sun, but it's not giving me the speckles that it used to. There's a little bit of white. But yeah, they're mainly just straight up burgundy without the white spots. That's fine. It still looks beautiful. Very pretty. The basils, all the basils, the dill. Um, I have more Chinese noodle beans here climbing. This is another bowl gourd and a Kajari melon and some coca melons climbing. So that's fun. All right, let's go over here. So these squash are doing fantastic. These were also done July 4th. This is the round zucchini. It's gonna flower. This is a 45 day zucchini. This is the round eight ball type zucchinis. Now, I think I need to fertilize with a little bit of nitrogen maybe. They're looking a little yellow. This one's looking a lot yellow. But I've been finding eggs. I spent, gosh, almost an hour yesterday probably going through each plant and picking eggs. And because I didn't cover it yesterday, I'm gonna have to go through each one again. <laughs> because that vine borer is out here. Uh, you know, not the same one, but you know. I've been getting hit by this vine borer for, I don't know, April, May, June, July, four months. Four months straight with that vine borer. Oh, it's BS. Anyway, that's the round zucchini 45 day. This right here is the dark green zucchini that I got from the dollar store. Um, and it's doing great too. Um, my climbers here, the moonflower starting to climb, get this little tendrils here. And then this is the blue butterfly pea, uh, the flower I showed you earlier. And then I have the uh, red um, scarlet emperor bean here. So red, white, and blue, it's another moonflower. And then I have Kajari melons and that Kajari melon's doing great, this one here. That one's getting big, it's got its little tendrils, it's starting to climb up, pretty. And I thought about planting something on the end. Look, I've got blank space, <laughs> I'm gonna put a seed in it. Anyway. All right, this side over here, um, another Scarlet Emperor bean that's struggling, that's not gonna do much. And then this is lemon cucumber, several plants of lemon cucumber. And then uh, delicata squash lovely this had a lot of eggs on it um, and so did this one this is my uh, uh, caserta caserta squash it's not as big and lovely as it was earlier this year when I had it over there it had big huge leaves that kind of look like the trombancino leaves it's just not doing as well over here it's looking a little uh, washed out so it could be the soil it could be this dirt that's in here um, and then I have some zinnias sprinkled in. Those are growing pretty fast. And then this one is the white scallop squash, uh, the patty pan. And there were a lot of eggs. What I was finding, see that red dot there, that's a vine borer egg. And what I was doing when I was checking the plant down at the base, down at the very base of the plant, like on the back side, was a pile of eggs. So they know what they're doing. They hide it down at the base and that way the vine borer can get in at the bottom and just destroy. So um, I did bury these after I picked. I was burying the stems because roots will form on the stems. You can bury them pretty deep. Look at all those little baby weeds, all those little baby weeds. So I will be mulching heavily as well. So hopefully we can get some squash and be done with this vine borer because it's making me mad. Making me mad. Circle bed, not many changes in here at all. New flowers. New flowers. This rose, the orange one that I thought was gonna die because I had a pot block in it, it has come back so good. But I do need to get a little copper fungus out of here. We've got some black spot. But that's coming back nicely. I still haven't sheared back the mums yet. Need to do that. Most of the sunflowers are done, I think. I want to seed some more. I have 90 days. I'm going to get some more seeds out here today. Today's going to be a big planting day, so you may see a planting video 
soon. We'll see. Anyway, things are looking okay. I'm thinking the roses might need some fertilizer. Yeah. Yeah, things are looking tired. It's been a hot summer, guys. It's been hot. Not in a good way. Not a hot girl summer. I mean, this girl's been hot, but no. It's just been hot, hot. And I got to find something to put in these hyper tuf tufa pots because I killed that mint. I cut that out of the video because the video was too long already. But I had put some mint in here. I didn't know you could kill mint, but I killed it. Okay, well, good deal. All right, well, that's the garden. Oh, my goodness. I love, I love this garden so much. That, mm -hmm. it's my favorite, my favorite room here. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully this was a much quicker tour. A lot less uh, new things to show you because I've already showed it to you last week. So, um, all right, oh, the stem by Graham. Okay, all right, till next time. Thanks for watching, guys.